smiling, uh, second dinner is here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Kyo and I'm from Malawi in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so it means, you know, what do we call a person who has, you know, uh, different, two different nationality? So, the person who has two different nationality? I am a Salawian. Yes. I'm a South African, I'm also a Malawian. So I have a father, is a closer, you know, and I have a mother who's, who's from Malawi, and that's a Salawian. So sometimes I'm a few say that's our Yeah. You know, when I arrived in South Africa, it was so, so interesting, you know, and uh, the first time I've been in South Africa, you know, the crime, the crime is most fashionable thing ever, I've ever seen in the country. You know, um, I remember, you know, when I arrived, you know, people were hijacking each other. But I realized there was one race in this country that has never been hijacked. And that, uh, <coughs> that race is Indian. And you might be asking yourself questions, why this, this race has never been hijacked, car hijacked at all? I'll tell you guys. Have you noticed that Indians, women, especially Indian women, they have a parking button on their forehead. That is an emergency button. <laughs> it's a tracker. <laughs> they have it everywhere. Now you can even download it. A new application is coming. Red dots on the forehead. Very interesting. That's why they will never be car hijacked at all. It's very, very interesting. So that's why I'm saying this country, you know, it's also it's almost like everything else happens. You know, if you go to Malawi, you know, you find that when you walk at night, the thugs are like monkeys. They can just jump out of the, you know, uh, from a tree and cut your head with the machete. <laughs> When I came to South Africa, I was like, wow, I enjoy crime here. I do enjoy crime here. Because how is it possible somebody wants your phone, but gives you back your SIM card? <laughs> you know, I, I was, I was in Cape Town this other day, you know, uh, I met this other person, you know, two people, I went to play basketball. I know I'm shot, you know. Uh, they get a challenge. <laughs> Well, it's very interesting, especially you have a tall girlfriend. You look like a half bread. <laughs> you know, I'm walking, you know, and I meet these two other guys, and they said to me, bruh, we are working. I said, okay, where are we working? Where's your resume? They said, no, we are working. We needed your wallet to buy drugs. So I said, you know, this is your kind of job. They said, they said to me, yeah, yeah. So uh, I told them I don't have anything. They said, if we search your pockets and find something, what should we do to you? Now I said, okay, fine, can you have my wallet? <laughs> the interesting thing that they did to me, or they did for me, was after they took the money, they gave me back my wallet, mm -hmm. and they gave me a transport fare for my own money. <laughs> <laughs> that's how interesting this country is. Crime, that's why crime takes place in the government, and it's so fashionable. So fashionable that even be a corrupt person because it's so so interesting. Everybody knows that tenders out there, not business people. So a lot of things that happen. It's so interesting in this country that even the language they, they have changed the language. I remember this other time I, uh, I I I broke up with my girlfriend. So I had another chick that came over to my place. She was from Zimbabwe and she was very tall. You know, very very tall. I remember very well. Then she asked me that after we had whatever we had, you guys don't want to know about it. Okay? <laughs> she asked me to give her pinkies. So I said, okay, I went to fetch my, my ex girlfriend's uh, underwear, that way of pink. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to her. Then she threw the, them back on my face. She said, I want pinkies, like, you know, 50 bucks. So I said, why did you just say 50 bucks? What's so difficult for you just to say? 50 bucks. Now there is something called Clipper. You know, give them clips. Now they're tigers. You know, give them tigers. So, this country, everything is so, so, so interesting. 
Guys, I would like to ask you, what happens to the people's mouth at night? <laughs> we wake up in the morning with a bad breath. The person is smelling. <laughs> That's why most of the time I don't like my girlfriend when she says good morning. <laughs> Yeah, in the morning, there's always a smelling bird. Now this gentleman is looking at the you know, <laughs> uh, Between you guys, who is really smelling? Oh, you. <laughs> you know, so we wonder what happens. You know, so I remember this all the time. Um, you know, I, uh, I had a 